In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Bezier tool, which is located on the left hand side in Inkscape. So it's about seven down. I'm going to click right there. And then the Bezier tool is pretty neat. Now, at the top, there's these options. There's the mode. You can create a regular Bezier path or a spiral path or a B spline path. I'm just going to be using this simple, straight ahead, regular Bezier path. Now, to use this is really simple. You just simply click. And now without dragging, I'm just moving my mouse around. I now have a line and I can just click again and then I can just move my mouse wherever I want, click again, move my mouse wherever I want, click again. And then when I want to close the path, I simply select the very first node. So I'm just going to zoom in here. See that node right there? When I hover over it, it turns red. And when I click on it, it now creates a shape. Now I can fill in that shape. Down at the bottom there's a color palette and that color palette goes on for quite a ways. I can scroll right on over. Maybe I want to make it purple and when I click on the purple button now that I have the shape that I've drawn using the Bezier tool. It's only straight lines. So the problem with the Bezier tool is let's say I want to make an outline around Wolverine's face. Okay, so I'm going to use the Bezier tool. I'm going to start at the top. I'm going to click and then what happens is they're only straight lines. So when I click on this curve, I click on it and then I start dragging and I can make the curve pretty decent. But then what happens is as I continue to go, it becomes increasingly difficult to get the little nuances down. So as I'm moving this along, I'm just going to show you kind of the crappy way to do it. And then when I fill that in, You'll see it's kind of like it's not great, right? I was off here, I was off here. It doesn't look good. So I've actually got a much easier way. I'm a big fan of doing things easily. So I'm going to be using the Bezier tool and I'm only using straight lines. So again, I'm up at the, I click the Bezier tool, I'm up at the top, it says regular Bezier path. Now I'm not going to drag, I'm just going to click and move. Straight lines only. Click, click, click. There, there, there. I'm just doing straight lines. Now you might be thinking, hey, hold on, that doesn't look that great because Wolverine's got curved features in his mask. I'm going to close that up at the top there. I just like to zoom in and make sure I get that last node there. And now we can see we've got a shape. I'm going to fill it in. And you can see it's close, but it's not exact. Okay, so what you can do now with this shape, I'm going to go back to the first little arrow at the top and that gives me my shape so I can move it around if I want. Or I go to the second one, that's the nodes. And what I can do is in between the nodes, so I'm just going to zoom right in here. See this curve here? Well, in between this node and this node, I can simply just drag this up. And then over here, where he's got a little bit of a cheek going in between the nodes, the line itself, I can just simply move it out. So I can just simply move these and make it as much or as little adjustment as I want. Now that looks a million times better. I'm going to get rid of the stroke now and I simply do that by clicking on the actual shape and then I can go over to the fill and stroke and I want to go to this stroke style on the right hand side and I can just remove put it down to width as a zero and I can see now that my shape is starting to come into form here. The other thing you can do as well is down at the bottom there's an opacity layer and you can just make it less opaque and that way you can see through it. So now I'm going to go edit path by node and I'm really going to fine tweak this. I can get this exactly the way I want. Now I can move the node as well but when you start moving around the node you'll see it really goes kind of wonky. So what I do instead is I just drag in between the nodes. So I make sure to have the nodes selected and then I can move that as much or as little as I want. And I can get it really close. So that looks really good there. I'm just going to pull this one out a tiny bit more. And then I'll make sure that this is a darker color. I'll put the opacity back and I can see now that looks really good. I'll make it maybe like a bright color so we can differentiate it. Oh, here, see I missed a little piece up there. So I'm just going to drag this out a tiny bit. Moving the node itself at the end, you can do that as well. So you can play around with the nodes, but you can play around in between the nodes. I like using the opacity 
because now I'm going to draw in the eye. I'll use the Bezier tool, straight lines only, click, 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 click. I know it's not perfect, but that's okay because now I go into the nodes tool and I can drag this out as needed. It's a really nice feature that I can tweak this. And again, I go over to stroke style, I bring this down to nothing, make sure this is white. I'll move this over to the left. And now I've got my actual eyeball there. And then I'm gonna select my mask. I'll make sure the opacity's back up. And we can see now I've got a decent trace of Wolverine's face. I'm gonna do this again on the other side here. I'll start at the top. And again, straight lines only. I'm just really looking for the nodes, the endpoints, and I'm not worried about the actual curves. I'm really just looking at where it needs to be curved. So I'm just looking at the endpoints. I'm going to make it a brighter color. I'll zoom in just a tiny bit. I'll remove the stroke style down to zero. And now I'm going to go to pass by node. That's the second one on the left hand side. And now I can start just simply dragging this in and out. Remember to change the opacity down to about half and that way you can see exactly where your actual master is. You can also just zoom in. I'm, I'm using the control button and the arrow key, uh, the uh, mouse, so I can move this out. Sometimes you gotta, there you go. You'll see how the, the cursor changes. So see how the cursor is, the cursor is just black. And then when I hover over the line, it actually changes to white. And now I can move this and I can make this a bit more accurate. And now I'm going to draw the eyeball. So again, I'm going to use the Bezier pen. Click, click, click. If you do too many clicks, it's really not the end of the world because it's better to have too many than not enough, I guess. I mean, you don't want to have like thousands in there, but stroke style, I'll go back to the nothing. I'll make sure it's white. And now I can just simply make the opacity down a little tiny bit, met, edit paths by node, and now I can simply round this out. The more nodes you create, the more curves you would have to do. So it comes down to a choice of how accurate you'd like to make this. Okay, I'm gonna make sure the opacity is now back up to 100. I'm gonna also click on my mask, make sure that's back up to 100. And now I'm gonna zoom this out. And now I'm just gonna click on the actual individual picture and remove it. And now you can see I've got an absolutely beautiful looking crisp, infinitely crisp vector that I can use. Now I can export that as a PNG. I can use this actually as a vector. So if I was making a stencil for the side of a building, for example, this is a really crisp, clean vector that I could use. But you can see here how easy it is now to make a tracing of something using the Bezier tool without worrying so much about that whole weird dragging around. You don't need to worry about that at all. Just, just make straight lines and then you can just tweak them afterwards because the beauty of the Bezier pen is make a bunch of straight lines and then just simply drag it out as needed. I hope you found that helpful. Quick little Inkscape tutorial. And here's another video on how you can supercharge your Inkscape graphic design. Thanks a lot for watching.